Okay, so today I'm going to show you the crab view, uh, which is an important view that we get as a part of the TNE protocol. So here you go, you can see the aorta here in the middle between pulmonary artery and the superior vena cava here. At the bottom here is the left atrium, and you can see the four pulmonary veins draining into the LA. Now, how to get this view? So you put the probe in the uh, suprasternal area with the marker to the left and there is no specific landmark to be honest basically you just go to the uh, suprasternal area and you look towards where the la is you may need to do of course a little bit of tilting a little bit of rotation or derotation and then this is the image that you get and if you're wondering why it's called crab view well you just have to give it a little bit of imagination and here you go and then after the 2D view, we put the color on. You can see the four pulmonary veins. You can see the left upper and left lower pulmonary veins. And on this side here, you can see the right upper and right lower pulmonary veins draining into the LA, which is very reassuring, especially if you're trying to rule out abnormal pulmonary venous drainage. Of course, you can Doppler each one of these pulmonary veins. And this is the flow Doppler pattern for the left lower pulmonary vein here. You can see the S wave here as labeled. And of course, you always have to look at the ECG to know where is the systole versus diastole. So this is the S wave during the systole. And then this is the D wave during the diastolic component of the cardiac cycle. And then sometimes you can see the A reversal, which is consistent with atrial contraction. I hope that was helpful and see you in the next video.